What is up? I'm two-time Olympian and world champion speed skater Joey Mantia here with Burn. I'm in New York City in this sweet studio. I'm going to bring you a 10-minute speed development course that is going to make you a speed skater. I'm going to show you exactly what I do to be the professional that I am in my field, and you're going to be going through the same workout, the same routine, and I'm going to teach you how to be a sprinter on the ice or in lines, whatever kind of skating you want to be a sprinter on. Or if you're just not a skater at all and you want to partake in something that I do as an Olympian, uh, feel free to follow along. We're going to do a 10-minute course, break it into four sections. We're going to just break down the technique, take it very slow, do 15 seconds on, 15 seconds off. It won't be too strenuous, but you're going to be a speed skater by the time we get done. So let's get right into it. Let's slip the booties on. If you don't already have them on, I'm going to put mine on really quick. And then we'll get right into it. Now, before we start, I'm going to spend a little bit of time explaining exactly what this movement is and what I want you to do with it. So we're going to start off in a very low, deep position. And if you haven't already done this, I highly recommend you go do my warm-up and come back when you're all ready to go with all your hip muscles and everything so you're not going to hurt yourself. So you're going to be in this position to start. And what I want you to do is think about pushing and landing right here without coming up off the board. So hover right across. You're going to be here. You're going to push. And just let that transfer of weight carry you across the board. So you're here. You're going to push to here. And right across nice and easy. Notice that I'm not twisting. Everything stays completely straight and square. And it's really just a slow, controlled movement. That's what we're looking for here, is keeping everything perfect, as perfect as possible. And that means feet straight. And you're just going to find that weight transfer position, boom, right to here. And when you get here, your foot should release from the board and carry you across. So we're going to get into it in five seconds. And in three, two, one, down. You're going to weight transfer and let it carry you. Keep that foot out to the side. No recovery here. Weight transfer, let it carry you. Nose, knee, and toe is lined up. Weight transfer, let it carry you. Here we are. Five to go. Keeping everything nice and straight and rest. 15 seconds of rest, and we're going to come back. We're going to do that two more times. Now, as you're going through these, it's very important to keep everything nice and low. Hover. Don't bob up and down on the board. Getting back into it in two, one, weight transfer, and let slide across. Everything is lined up. Weight transfer, slide across. Staying in a nice deep position here. Across. Five to go. Weight transfer, slide across and rest. One more rep of that, and we're going to move on to the next set. And everything follows the same rules. We want to stay low, nice, strong position. Everything is straight, not tilting, not twisting. Starting in three, two, one, weight transfer, let it go. Here, weight transfer, let it go. Nice and easy. I'm not pushing with my quads. I'm just moving my weight to this foot and then letting my foot release from the board. If you want to pause and give yourself some practice with that before we move on to the next one, feel free to do that. Okay, now we're going to move on to the next movement. We're going to add a recovery to that. So doing the same thing, we're going to push, but now we're going to bring this foot into here, making sure the hips are flat, shoulders are flat, and then boom, okay? And we're going to start in three, two, one, to the side. In your mind, you're visualizing having that foot out here, pushing to it, and then letting everything release. So everything is nice and slow and controlled. And this workout is only hard because we're in a deep position. And we're going to relax there, rest for 15 seconds. So all the work comes from being in a position, not how hard we're pushing. It's all about the technical focus. Okay, starting again in three, two, one. Push to the side, bring that foot straight in, recover. Make sure everything is flat, and repeat. Push that position down nice and low. Boom. Feet are perfectly side by side. Feet are perfectly straight. And two, one, relax. Two more sets of that. We'll move on to the third one. Okay? You guys are doing great. Remember, this is about technical development and getting yourself into a position where you would be a good speed skater. Okay? Down in position, hand to the side. Everything is straight, bringing it straight in. To the side and straight in. To the side. Straight in. To the side. In three, two, one. Relax. One more rep. We'll move on to number three. You guys are doing really well. Remember, feet straight, hips flat, not twisting, not tilting. Being very adamant about the position. And in three, 
two, one, last one, to the side, and in, the side, and in, side, and in. I like to drop my hands to the side as I recover, so to the side, and then swing, but you can do whatever you'd like, whatever's comfortable, and rest in three, two, one. Okay, now we're going to go into a lunge push, and that means we're going to lunge back here, we're going to pick the toe up, and then push. We're going to lunge back, tap that knee on the ground, come up in the center of the foot, and push. We're trying to put the first two together and really start from a nice deep position here. So, okay, starting in 15 seconds with that lunge position, we're going to reach back, down, and trying not to pop off the back foot. So you don't want to come from back here and push up. Try to use just this and be forward on it to come up and be in position as you make your push. Okay, in three, two, one, starting with a lunge here, come up, push, back, lunge, try to use just the front leg to come up, push, lunge, try to use just the front leg to come up, push, and relax. Okay, resting for 15 seconds, maybe a little less, okay, and we're going to start in three, two, one, repeating that, lunge, try to come up with just the front foot, and to the side. Lunge, come up with just the front foot, the side. Everything's about balance and control. Be in control of the motions here. Really get that stretch and rest. And we have two more reps of that. And then we're going to move on to the final sprint slide and just make the actual motion. Okay, so repeating in three, two, one. Starting with the lunge, centered over the front of this foot, come up. Push, lunge, come up, push, lunge, come up, push. And we're going to rest. One more rep. Remember when you're coming out of that lunge that you're trying to already be here. You're not starting from back here and then rocking forward and then coming up into the lunge. You're trying to put down the lunge, pick the foot up, and already be in that position. Okay? So last one through here we go. Starting with a lunge. Come up, push, lunge, come up, push, lunge, come up, push. And when I say come up, that's barely at all. You're just trying to make a small motion to get that back leg off the ground so you can get into sprint position. And that's going to do it. We're going to rest. And then we're going to finish up with a sprint slide, which is just an actual skating motion back and forth across the board, 15 second intervals. So. Even though we think sprint, we want to push as hard as we possibly can, that's not what skating is about. Skating is about control and letting your body weight do all the work. So you want to put yourself in position and be strong in the position. That's what gives you that sprinter feeling and then working in that nice, low, deep position. So as we get into it, we're going to start in five, four, three, two. Now we're going to add the whole piece together. We're going to circle around, be low, boom. Nice recovery, controlled, and push. Recover, and push. Five more seconds, and push. Recover, push, and relax, okay? So as you're going through this, you're trying not to let the recovery motion rock you forward or rock you back or anything like that. Try to keep everything settled and strong, okay? Again, two minutes to go in the workout. Down to position, push, Recover. Push. Recover. You see how deep I am right now? Ideally, you want to try to get this knee as close to this ankle as possible without dipping or tilting to do it by just getting that compression here and then getting that sprinter push right here and then let the slide board do all the work for you. Let the side of the board come to you. Don't feel like you have to push hard to get across. Just let everything happen. Think back to that first drill we did of the weight transfer and just weight transfer, boom, let it go. But now you're doing all of the right positions. Let's go ahead and relax. Getting a little carried away on you guys. Sorry about that. Um, we're going to take an extra 15 seconds there of rest. And we're going to bring it home for one minute and finish up the workout with perfect technique for speed skating sprinting style. And starting in five seconds, four, three, 
two, one, let's set the position nice and low. And let's go for it, 15 seconds. Nice and slow and controlled. Boom, boom. Nose, knee, and toe is lined up. Two, one, relax. We have three reps to go, and we're all done. And you guys are gonna be speed skaters. That easy, that simple. Just be Olympians right now. All right, starting in five, four, three, two, and down. Push that position now, challenge yourself, but try not to get heavy on your toe. You don't wanna be like this. Try to let everything fall right into the middle of the foot. Five more seconds, and nice, easy pushes. It's all about the position here. Okay, relax. All right, almost done. I think I lied to you guys. I think we have four more reps. Oh no, I can't do math. I'm too tired. I'm just a stupid athlete here. All right, we're gonna, we have one minute to go. That's two reps. And three, two, one, down, boom. Keeping everything straight. Try to remember all the cues. Hopefully this isn't your first time doing the workout. If it is, welcome. If it's not, concentrate. Pick one cue and work on it through the entire workout. Okay, relax. And I think that's going to do it. I'm already past time. I can't. It's hard to be an athlete and explain. So that was 10 minutes of perfect sliding technique, getting you guys into a speed skating position. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Joey Mantia. Thank you for joining us. If you want to do a cool down, I have that video. You can go to that next. And uh, I'll catch you next time.